and I welcome you back to the Debernick channel and today we're going to be talking about Lake Mead and Lake Powell. A lot of people asked me yesterday what is going on with that and a lot of people also were wondering what the totals were in the Sierra mountain range and we are going to be looking at that and we will do a quick update on Lake Oroville as it continues to rise. I want to show you the graph for California as well so there's quite a bit to talk about today so if you enjoy this content and you really like it at the end of this video consider giving it a thumbs up consider giving it a subscribe and if you don't that's no problem and we are going right over to the 72 hour map and I blew this way up so you guys can see there was quite a bit of snow right on the continental divide here especially right over here and you can see right here as we scoot in here by the Grand Mesa National Forest here they received quite a bit of precipitation there 201 there and we go over here just to the west of Aspen 211 so you can see that this spot over here got anywhere between 1.60 and 2 inches and even up here just to the west of Denver 209 so a common theme up here by the Green River up here you have this range up here 208 over here 205 so the mountain range received quite a bit of precipitation down here 1.21 and then we go over here 2.92 2.65 up here 2.98 we get closer to the Feather River River and check this out 4.31 and there is more rain forecasted to come and we go up here by Shasta and Shasta it's just not getting much precipitation and it's every model always shows that they're going to get a lot and then ultimately they don't get very much at all so this is not good this is a Solomon mountain range here in Yuba City I know I have some subscribers there you received 0.57 Clear Lake down here. People were asking about Clear Lake. I can't find the water levels for that, so I just do what I can. 1.07. If anybody knows where I can get those Clear Lake water levels, that would be great. San Jose down here, 1.98. So even Los Angeles down here received quite a bit over the last 72 hours. 1.44 over here. 3.64 so they said Los Angeles is going to get up four inches I think it went a little to the east and there you have that Las Vegas received some rain 0 0.1 inches to the west of Las Vegas they received 2.19 inches so there you have it it's been a very 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 crazy weather pattern here so somebody asked about acre feet so we'll do that real quick here we are at the current reservoir conditions people were asking about what the percentages were and Lake Warville holds 3 million acre feet. Right now it's at 36% of capacity, 69%. Lake Shasta, you can see, and Trinity Lake. You can see that those two reservoirs there are still in the 20% range. Folsom's in much better shape. It's at the 53% capacity. And Don Pedro down here, 52%. Lake McClure, it's at 23% capacity. So you can see that down further south they got Pine Flat Reservoir, 26%. Castic Lake 43%, Paris Lake 82%, so this is probably the best one in the whole state, it's at 82%, Milton Lakes not too far behind 69%, and San Luis Reservoir is at 29%, New Malone's Lake is at 38%, and these are the high ones that they check on every day, so you can see that actually Lake Shasta, McClure, and Pine are the lowest, followed by Trinity, followed by Lake Oroville. There you have that, and you can see that Folsom of the Northern Lakes are in the best shape, and Lake Paris is the best in the whole state. So, acre feet. Somebody was asking, how many feet does Lake Oroville have for acre feet? So, we're going to investigate that. Okay, so Lake Oroville normally has 3,537,577 acre feet. It currently has 1,269,575. Like I just said, it's 36% full. Folsom holds 977,000 acre feet and right now it has 520,160 acre feet in it currently. Trinity up top holds 2,447,000 thousand six hundred and fifty and it currently has seven hundred and fifteen thousand so this thing is way low same with Shasta four million five hundred fifty two thousand is what it holds and it currently has one million two hundred and seventy six thousand nine hundred acre feet 
and there you have it and if there's any other one I will link this below so you guys can check this out at any given time so you have it and now over to Lake Powell we will see what is going on at Lake Powell and we'll check out the water levels there as we are at Lake Powell, they say that the snowpack is 101% of average. Total precipitation is 113 of average. Lake Powell's current water level is 406.58 feet deep at the dam. The level is 161 feet below full pool of an elevation of 3,700. By content, Lake Powell is 27.94% full, 24,322,000 acre feet. And total inflows of the year have been 941,741 acre feet. This is 62.23% of December's 22nd's average of 1,000,000. 513,275 acre feet. Total release for 2022 has been 1,383,699 acre feet. And this is 18.45% of the minimum required of 7,500,000 acre feet. So there you have it. And Lake Powell is down 45.23 feet from one year ago. Wow, it's crazy. Lake Powell is at a low for water year and down 6 0.77 feet from the high and this thing continues to trend down over and over and over again and not that I care but they say that every ramp is unusable rightfully so we need to look at the snow graphs and see what's going on there let's go down to Lake Mead and see what is going on down at Lake Mead Lake Mead should be on the increase from where it normally is this time of year and generally it is so we will go right out we'll start out with this is day 87 of 365 for the water year of 2022 we are 24% through the year we're almost a quarter of the way through the water year which starts in October October 1st is the beginning of the water year and the last reading was 1065.97 on December 25th. Lake Mead was within last of that elevation on December 24th, 2021. Lake Mead is 153.63 feet below full pool of an elevation of 1219.60 feet. By content, Lake Mead is 34. 0.32% full with 25,877,000 acre feet in the reservoir currently. Total releases at the Hoover Dam water year 2022 is 1,632,748 acre feet. This is 18.14% of minimum release required of 9 million acre feet. Lake Mead is down 17.45 feet from one year ago today. Lake Mead is up 1.06 feet from the low water year in the last 14 measurements the lake is up 0 0.57 feet which is good news it's definitely going to need a lot more water than that i want to go to windy.com generally i start with windy.com today i thought i would do it the opposite i just want to go to the 10 day and show you lake shasta and lake oroville and 3.51 at shasta and over here generally anywhere between three and three and a half inches of rain in the next 10 days and the gfs is still showing aggressive amounts 5.48 and 6.63 so it has come down just a little bit i also want to talk about over here in colorado the gfs is calling for 2.61 inches and down here 3.47 and Real quick, we go back to the European model, and they're calling for actually more over here, less over here. So we'll see what happens all the way down. Los Angeles is still going to get a lot of rain in the next 10 days as well. So it's going to be wet. Bakersfield, 1.16. Fresno, 1.9. Madura, somebody was asking about that. 0 0.94. So there you have it. Mammoth Lake up here, 2.79. I just real quick, I wanted to talk about that. And that is what is going on with the lakes in the West and we'll be back probably in a couple days with another update. You guys have a blessed day and we'll see you on the next one. God bless.